So, uh, so how about we do a quick intro? Sure. Hey guys, this is Eric Sang. Is that right? That's right. Um, product lead uh, for lead product, manager, lead product for manager, manager for Android. Yeah. And uh, he's going to give us a quick demo of Android on G1. So, out of the box, let's say you start up the phone, and there's your key lock screen. Now, in this case, I don't believe I actually have a, uh, a key lock set, so it's going to go straight to the home experience. But let's say that I'm pretty tight on security. So, one of the cool, unique features that we've developed for Android is a key lock pattern to secure your device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a lock pattern and uh, I'm going to make it something pretty generic so I can remember. I'm just going to do this. Now I'm just going to confirm that same pattern. Confirm. Now from here on in, if I ever actually lock my device and then I want to unlock again, I have to enter that same keypad. So think of this as a new twist on a numerical pin for securing your phone and your, all your information. So I'm in the device now. What I'm going to do is drag up my all apps, and this is a scrollable list. And you can add to this list by clicking on market, and this is where you can find all the great apps that third-party developers, hopefully folks on um, your site, will come and build for the Android platform. If I go back home for a moment, one of the other cool things that we've done with Android is created from scratch uh, a WebKit browser that is designed specifically for the mobile browsing experience. So, for instance, um, let's say I'm on this page, which is, uh, I'm not sure which, complex.com, but I want to get a bird's eye view so I can fly in, fly out, and do some, some sort of creative zooming. I'm going to tap here in the lower right-hand corner, and what it does is it actually it zooms out of the entire page. Actually, I just clicked on the link. It zooms out of the entire page and gives me a bird's eye view of everything on that one page. So, you know, imagine this is a site that comes all the time, and what I want to do is navigate really quickly to the bottom of the page. I just grab this magnifying glass and drag all the way down. This is a perfect example because it's a super long page. Drop in and it zooms back down to where I was. But you also notice with that it was just very, very fast. Um, it wasn't just loading what was in screen at that moment, but it was loading the whole page in the background. So the moment I actually zoom out of this image, I can actually quickly pan and see what else is on that page. And here I'm just dropping down again. So. Um, um, a very, again, interesting twist to how you interact with a mobile browser. One other really great thing that we've done, there's no notifications at the moment, but if I drag down this status bar, it'll tell me what's going on. So for a moment, let's imagine that I received an IM or an SMS, a new email, chat, whatever it might be. This is a third, this is an open platform, so even if you're a Facebook uh, or a MySpace and you, get a, you want to issue a notification to the user, you can add an icon to the status bar, allow the user to drag down down, and then you can click through to actually get into that item. So if you get a new email notification, you tap on the notification and it takes you to your inbox. Uh, let's see, what else to show here? We've got... Um, can you uh, show us the uh, Gmail application on here? Yeah. Instant message. So with inbox, this is the Gmail application. We don't have any... Huge is not like my inbox. It's pretty empty. But yeah, this is, we want to see what it looks like in terms of. Um, here's just an example of message. Can you zoom in, zoom out? It's a web view. Well. Yeah. So if you actually had. Um, oh, so it's not native. It's actually. Oh. This is actually an embedded web view. So you can actually this supports full HTML web views, for instance. Gotcha. And if you've got super large pictures, for instance, you can actually pan left or right to get the whole picture as well. So um, you know, from here. Or my attachment download. Locally, <laughs> you can you can download. So if you've got a, an image, for instance, you can just download. It. Okay, uh, and you can just get it around to your phone. Uh, and are my email stored locally as well? Your emails are not stored locally. Uh, look, I'm gonna be back up. You can actually all your emails offline. are stored locally okay. offline. So okay. we're running on a protocol which is um, pretty new for Google, and it's especially great for mobile phones. Um, it's called Long Shadow, and essentially, I'm sorry, what was it called? Long Shadow. Long Shadow. Okay. And what it does is enables offline email access. Okay, that's so you can important. you can store all your emails uh, locally when you sync. And let's say what you're about memory capacity? in flight. Uh, so memory capacity is a 256 megabyte flash memory on the device. Okay. Um, it also comes pre-installed, pre-loaded with a one gigabyte SD micro SD card. Um, and you can expand that to up to eight gigabytes. So I'll be able to sideload music. 
Absolutely. Um, basically store my attachment, store my email. The great thing about the phone the, is the that memory card. you can treat it like USB mass storage. So if you just plug this into your computer and you just simple USB cable and you've got all your great music, DRM free, uh, that you want to upload onto your phone, all you gotta do is connect it, drag it into your uh, your phone folder, and you're good to go. Can you show us, Eric, where the memory card slot is on here? So if I slide the keyboard open, right here there's a little door. I'm just going to pop that oh, open. Okay. You see a little flap? Now, the SD card is right here. I'm just going to take it out. So it's a micro SD card. What you got here is just the standard one gigabyte card. It supports up to 16? Uh, up to 8 gigabytes. Up only to 8? Up to 8 gigabytes for now. Okay. Um, well, the reason why is there's actually a different protocol when you go from 8 gigabytes to 16, which is a slightly larger Well, will that, will that be just like a firmware upgrade to 16 and 32? Okay, yeah. excellent. You got it. Uh, but yeah, this is great not just for music, but if you're about to take a trip uh, and you want to take camera? a lot of pictures, it's a 3 megapixel camera. No flash, right? No flash. Autofocus? Autofocus. autofocus. Mechanical autofocus. Okay. Um, which is different, again, from most phones on the market. Gotcha. Uh, and yeah, you can take your photos, store them on your SD card, and then, again, upload them straight to your computer. In terms of the instant messaging, can I stay live, connected, or how thing, does that work? The great thing about Android is that uh, we enable background processing and okay. multitasking. So if you're running IM, it doesn't have to be Gtalk, Windows, Live Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, AOL, um, you turn it on, and when I, let me just see if it's even live here, let me show you the app. So here's IM, so I haven't logged in yet, so I'm going to log in. You need help with that. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I am logged in here, so I'm going to log in. And the does moment it do threaded discussion as well. It does threaded discussions nice. as well. Okay. Yes. So uh, I'll log in, and actually, right now the thing is, this is a, a dummy account, so I'm not actually sure if we'll have friends. We'll see. <laughs> but if I did, and, and I can actually just back out of this right now and go back to home, it's still running in the background. Okay. So the moment I get a new ping from a friend or a new friend request, it'll notify me on this status bar, like I showed you earlier, and I can tap through and go right in. But until that happens, I can run maps, yeah. Gmail, browse the web, do whatever I want. And multitask. Well, since we're here with T Mobile, can you show us the MyFave yeah, window? Sure. So, here's MyFave. Uh, we work very closely with T Mobile to get this app implemented specifically for Android. Okay. Um, it does a unique interaction with touch, so I can actually spin this carousel around. So, for those of you who are familiar with MyFave, you can pick your five favorite friends, family, whatever. Um, and then I can tap through. And in this case, I have to create a new contact. So, I can say create new. And uh, let's just create a my BFF phone number five 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 five, and then I say add contact. I'm really amazed at I'm how good to go. how easy it is to interact between the physical keyboard and the touch screen. I mean, you know, seeing it in the picture makes it look like it's real difficult to use, but actually holding it and using it. It, it looks really good. Yeah. Um, are there any other applications that's unique to the G1 that you can demonstrate for us? Absolutely. So let me just uh, bring up. Oh, the music can we do player. market? Oh, sure. Oh, let me. Let me